Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be taking my Samsung Series 7 Chrono 780Z5e with a 15.6 inch touchscreen, and we're going to upgrade the Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi 6. And also that chip has a Bluetooth 5.0 chip in it as well. So right now we have a Intel Centrino N6235 with Bluetooth 4. So we're only getting A, B, G, and N. Um, and then with Wi-Fi 6, we'll be able to go up to AC and a a AX, which are much faster speeds. Um, I'm only pulling down about 240 megabytes with my internet connection, but this will allow fi uh, file transfer speeds and faster stuff. Um, this all started on November 21st. Um, I ordered the Wi-Fi card from AliExpress, and it got here on the 18th of December. So this is the card that I ordered. I ordered the Wi-Fi 6 dual band, 3000 megabytes, MPE AX3000H, and it's PCIe, mini PCIe, which is what I have on my laptop. Um, I'm going to show you another solution here in a second, but this is what I ordered, um, and it just pops right in. And they're... Their ad's kind of weird. They show a wireless AC card that if you click on it, it'll go to it. It's a cheaper card, but then they show a desktop a a AX. Um, and I wasn't sure if my antennas were going to be compatible or not. So you can also order antennas. I did for another $3. Um, so all in, this ended up being about 26 bucks with the antennas. Um, I did this because I recently upgraded my router to a ASUS Republic of Gamers Rapture uh, AC5300. I was on uh, an old wireless AN that wasn't very fast, but um, I was only getting like max 100 megabits. Um, but this is 802.11ac, so in theory you should get up to 80, 866.7 um, if you're getting good speed. So. That's what it looks like. Um, it's got a ton of ports. It's really it's a lot faster. I didn't want to upgrade all the way to AX, but both my desktop and my laptop now will have uh, wireless AX. And the other solution, which I didn't I didn't see this when I ordered mine, um, but they make a card that is um, it's MU Memo. It's a different size, but it has the mini um, PCIe Express adapter. And this is from Newegg, and it's um, about the same price. But you just you chop that taller part of the board off, and then it pops into your into your laptop. And they've got a another one as well. Pretty neat solution. For some reason, I didn't see this at the time, um, but I probably, if I was doing it over again, I would have ordered this instead of the chip that I have now. All right, so I wanted to show you here the speed I was getting before I upgraded my Wi-Fi card. So I'm gonna open network settings and go to network and sharing center. My Wi-Fi is called Al Gore invented the internet. So currently I'm getting 300 megabytes per second. I'm on Intel Centrino Advanced N6235. And it's ranging between 300 and 270. All right, here's the package as it came from AliExpress. And we're gonna open it. Got a set of and new antennas, and then also a card and some screws. And as you can see, it's the Mini PCIe Wi-Fi 6 MPE AX3000H. 
Here's the laptop we're going to be putting in. It's a Samsung 780Z5E uh, Kronos. It's from 2016. And I'll show you the specs on it in just a second. But basically, we're going to flip it over first and start undoing all these screws. Not fancy like Linus. I don't have any iFix. I just have a cheap Chinese 38 and one screwdriver set, but it'll get the job done. All right, so first we're gonna start by taking out the memory door. Take note. I like to use a shot glass to keep my screws in. Now we're going to pop the back off the laptop very carefully. I've done this once before. So basically you're just getting a little card down in the, the space between you. Just carefully, slowly Prying it open. Not too much force, just as you can see, there's little small hooks in there that are holding on to the other side. And a small screw has popped out while we're doing this. I'm going to put it away. And boom. Back plate's off. Whole back of the laptop's exposed. And I'm going to set it down and figure out where that screw that came out came from and I'm also going to try and tighten up any of these that may be loose I put a battery in it um, not too long ago and the other thing is that you have to remember is there is a button you gotta hit to turn the power off to the to the board. So I found where the screw goes. The screw goes right here. Um, don't know why it came loose. So I've done a couple things to this laptop. I previously opened it up and installed a one terabyte SSD and I've also replaced the battery on this. In this case what we're gonna do is we're going to replace this Wi-Fi card with this new Wi-Fi card that's faster. Um, I went ahead and ordered another set of antennas. I didn't know if I was going to need them or not because the plugs are very small on these cards, but it's looking like I didn't need them after all. Um, so the first thing, we're going to note where the white and the black are plugged in. And going to carefully remove those. Now, those removed. I can 
take this screw out, which is in. pretty well and it's magnetic my screwdriver so the current model that I have is the Intel this is the stock one that came uh, with the computer and going in it's gonna be this model so it pops in just like an M.2 put it in at 30 degrees and you make sure your antennas are clear and then you push it down and you reinstall your screw And then I'm going to pop the antennas back on. And there we go. Now we're gonna boot. So I've buttoned the bottom of the laptop back up and this is my first boot. I'm gonna go into network and internet settings. Obviously you can see I'm not connected to any network. I'm gonna make sure my adapter shows up. There I've got the Wi-Fi immediately showing it until Wi-Fi 6 AX200 160 megahertz. I haven't downloaded any drivers or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect to my local network with putting in my SSID the password as you can see it's called Al Gore invented the internet I've got Bill Clinton net New England clam router and a couple other funny ones over there so this is without any drivers or anything it's just automatically been initialized and I'm connected to the my local area network and I'm gonna go ahead and see what kind of speeds I'm getting so my router is only wireless AC so I'm getting the max connection at 866 megabytes, which is pretty good. Before I was only getting max 300. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test internet speed right now. So this is really going to help my um, my internet usage since I'm only paying for uh, 100 or 200 uh, megabit connection. I'm pulling about 230 uh, when I do speed tests, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, in my area, I don't have gigabit available. I wish we had Google Gigabit or um, FiOS or something faster, but this is this is all we have. Um, so I'll have to make do with it. And looks like I'm getting about 220 average, 223 average. I'm not even going to bother with upload. I normally average about uh, 10 to 15. And then, like I was saying before, so the the Bluetooth, you need to, before you install this card, you need to go ahead and unpair all your devices. Um, because once you install the new card, it doesn't allow you to unpair. The only way to do it is to go into Device Manager and view um, hidden objects. And then you've got to go through and basically remove the old Bluetooth connections um, that aren't showing up. Because the new, the new card won't allow you to remove the old pairs. So as you can see, I didn't know that yet here, and I'm going through and trying to remove the various keyboards and mice and headphones and things that I have set up. And I, I give up, and I just say, okay, I'm going to add my my mouse. 
So I'm going to add this Logitech MX Master. And it's ready to go. So this is the second boot. On the second boot, um, Windows immediately came up and gave me a message that I needed to download new drivers because uh, new devices were detected. So I went to Intel Driver and Support Assistant page. You just click right on it, and it prompted me to download the wireless uh, Bluetooth driver for the new uh, Bluetooth 5 and also the Wi-Fi driver. So this is all in, in real time. I know it's kind of slow. Um, you know, this is a six-year-old laptop, so bear with me. You know, I've done incremental increases, like adding the SSD to get it to boot much faster. Uh, put a new battery in a couple years ago. Uh, and also added more RAM, which I don't think made me that faster, but I'm able to have, like, you know, 15 Chrome tabs open now, where we get a little slow. So the, the network card, as you can see, is being initialized as an AX200. After I updated the drivers, it's showing as an AX201 with the same connectivity and functionality. So two windows open there for a second. Um, I'm having to overdub all this because I did not have my mic turned on on OBS when I was dubbing and narrating all this. So, And I didn't know about the trick of having to go into Device Manager yet, so I'm trying to remove these devices again, which it, it won't do it. You have to go into Device Manager and remove them that way. That's the only way to get them out. And Intel wants to be sure that I'm, I really want to put the driver in, which, yeah, let's put it in so I get better speed or whatever better functionality to the new driver set comes in. You know, I know there's two big schools of thought between AMD and Intel, and I really like Intel boards, drivers, chips. Um, even though this is kind of a, a non-branded, I think it was, I think it's an identical clone to a, to an Intel chip, so. And there we go. Hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe.